Some people may travel overseas for vacation, but 17 Auburn University Building Science students spent the summer learning how some of the world's most famous buildings were constructed. For his study abroad project, Jeff Jantz chose the Sagrada Familia Church in Barcelona, Spain. Well, it's kind of it's kind of the Estonian building actually in our book that's going to be that's still actually under construction. It started started construction in 1882. Um, it's when it was first started being designed. Um, and is actually still currently under construction and predicted to be finished. They're hoping in 2026, um, but possibly up until even 2040. Being able to see these historic wonders and learning their origin is only one goal of this journey. Graphic design professor Ross Heck says the students will also create the first textbook that showcases their backgrounds. It's going to be 20 inches wide and around 10 inches tall. So it's going to have this landscape feel to it when you open it up and you're looking at a spread in a book, which is pertinent to what they're doing you know, as far as dealing with elevation plans and schedules and um, the other estimates that they have to work with from each site. A textbook or a book does not exist that really goes into great detail about uh, the construction aspects of a, of a project uh, as far as um, not only the design, which they're, they're talking about that as well, but they're also looking at who were the people that built it, how were they organized, uh, how was the construction site laid out, how were the foundations uh, put into place. Everybody goes by Notre Dame Cathedral and we can always you know, appreciate what a great space that is and how beautiful it is, but has anybody ever thought about what the foundation is below ground it's, that's helped it to stand up for thousands of years? Carefully studying the buildings and talking with historians and architects helps the students piece together more than 4,000 years of construction history. One thing Lauren Wybanga learned about her building, the Pantheon in Rome, Italy, is how the Romans used concrete. They used large aggregate, um, crushed brick, and then they used local materials, uh, travertine and tough tufa to to mix in with the concrete, whereas we don't do that today. So, I mean, that's very different than what we do today. But um, their system of pouring and using centering um, and scaffolding in order to get the building like they wanted it, I mean, we would still do that today. With ancient buildings like this still standing today, she is able to understand how modern construction methods came to be. Leaving concrete behind, Shyam Patel focuses on Paris, France and the Eiffel Tower. Uh, pretty much what I learned from it was uh, just all about the uh, early iron construction in, uh, in the uh, 19th century and just how it evolved and how the Eiffel Tower was sort of the pinnacle of iron construction. Michael McDaniel not only studied how the Great Pyramid in Egypt was built, but also relates how much something like this would cost today. I did a very rough cost estimate as to uh, the materials and, and the labor that, that how much that would cost today and it was my estimate was close to 1.8 trillion dollars which is very it's pretty pretty expensive but uh, that's a rough estimate that um, but the workers at, in those days where they weren't paid um, salaries like we would today they were paid with with bread and with drinks and with their housing and and just necessities that they would need and they would work on the pyramid because it was a monument to their pharaoh who was, they believed, divinity. The textbook these students create after seeing these engineering marvels will allow many others to further their knowledge in building science and possibly construct their own masterpieces. We really learned everything that we could, you know, and I've put um, not only the facts, but I think that I've put what you wouldn't know if you just went on Wikipedia, you know. So I'm, we all, all of us I know, have dug and dug and looked and looked for everything that um, is possible for that, that incoming freshman to know about this particular building. 